<clears throat> Time vector. Alan West is going to be joining us. Alan West. Just a couple, just a couple minutes. minutes. Uh, the, I told you uh, see, I told you so. That, uh, that, um, uh, we have a uh, resources that we're telling us the major network had a story, and I also the major news organization has a story that then printed it, decided whether or not to run it after the election. Hold on to it because I will do something about this. On because I see so the they least is known as a Newsweek magazine, also released their story and a. The story uh, out that that is not as as well as far as we concerned because trust about it. Anyways, I want to show you something because I, I try to post it on my Time Factor website, and uh, you know, love, love this Time Factor weekend all weekend long. And uh, this is what happens. I try to do something about this, um, but this one, and and the other one is gonna be the last laugh and all that stuff. So you better check my website, lhmusictimefactor.jimdell.com, for the LH Music Time Factor website, and so is you know who. That's right. Facebook for all your Facebook people out there at facebook.com slash LH Music Time 2012 for my Facebook page on, um, on for my Time Factor people out there. So trust me about that. Anyways, uh, Alan West is here. And um, before we start, thank you for everything you've done for the service. Thank you for being somebody who actually says the tough things. You're one of the only people that will really save the tough things. You and people like you, Michelle Bachman, did them in, you know, go right on the front lines, and we just shot everybody on the side. All right, so tell me about um, Libya. Benghazi. Come on, that's ridiculous. Well, if I may ask you, <clears throat> we've got to relieve the current commander in chief. Okay, but 
Okay, we're going to do some good stuff now. We've got him. So we have his uh, However, it was a speedy did I believe, his choice. Yeah, that is. We talk about it. He just moves things forward. His choice. To leave. Actually, um, uh, come out and say something because, you know, Napoleon's line has come to my head a lot. A lot. When, uh, when they said, where are you going to be? Where, 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 where are you going to be? Where are you going to be? And he said, he said listen, listen, listen for the sound, sound of guns. guns. That's, that's where you find that. And you're exactly right. That's what leadership is. Leadership is meaning where the action is. And that's how you're able to make the best possible decisions. And look, Liz, always you trust the person that's on the ground. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? You. You know what? I, was I was talking to the Navy, uh, uh, who said, at least was like, we should have done, launch our fighter jets. But this is the time. You fly them in a speed of sound, but never see you coming. And then we have, yeah, I would have been to the ground, we know. We'd have broken every wheel blocks, and it was said, we do it all the time. You're not hurting anybody, you're not lodging anyone, anything. So it freaks people out, and you disperse the crowd that fast. Well, we do this. But how is he the second minutes away? I'll tell you something, this is goes to the election because I think we lost common sense and common DC. I mean, the president is saying that he didn't even have to find out if it's a terrorist attack. Fox is now reporting this morning that they have a cable or they have seen a cable that some of these cables that are being released, being shown to reporters. They see the cable from the State Department identifying the Gaza attack as a terrorist attack four hours into the seven hour gunfight. So he obviously knew. This goes to DCC. The, the president was out there the Captain Trump to do that. Say, you know what? It's the same four different speeches. Exactly, exactly the same one on the prompter. You know, you, you got to know if you can trust, trust the president of the United States. States. And you know that I mean what I said. Really? really? Well, you know, ah. there's that. And also, I mean, all What's the government want to give a neighbor shout out? Because what's the guy running against you? What's different with the other guy? Well, what you're looking at is my opponent, Mr. Murphy, is I'm not worried. I, think the, I believe in protection of the buying providence. 
I believe there are millions of Americans that uh, are, uh, are still believing that, that we're still hearkening to the spirit, hearkening to the God. And I tell you one thing, God is neutral in freedom of all of mankind. Falls. Freedom all over the world takes a mighty blow and it makes a thousand years for people to recover from it. And it is still neutral. This work is done. As long as we need decent, God fearing people, we will be pleased to do His will. It is exactly what you're going to see on Tuesday. this Tuesday. I do. This Tuesday, I do. Yes. Shall so prosper. <coughs> yes. 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 Thank you much. I much appreciate it. And uh, you had a good, uh, good election day. Thank you. Bye bye. Talk to me, Ellen West. Programs.